now let's talk about multi-factor authentication or mfa so multi-factor authentication can add an extra layer of security to your infrastructure by adding a second method of authentication beyond just a password or access key with mfa authentication also requires entering one-time password or otp from a small device so you can use an application also for example you can use a google authenticator uh, okta or any other you know authenticators microsoft authenticator so you would need to scan a qr code which will display right there so after scanning in you need to enter two codes which you will be receiving on your phone and after that you will be done right one again whenever you are logging in back to your aws account after providing your username password you also need to enter an one-time password that will be appearing on your phone only then you will be able to log in so basically it is adding an extra layer of security to your infrastructure okay the msfa device can either be a small hard drive hardware device you carry with you for example safe net id proof you know 100 otp token or something like that or a virtual device via an application that i just explained on your smartphone right for example google authentication so this will add you an extra layer of security so that's it we need to know about multi-factor authentication here let's go back to our aws management console and see how we can add a multi-factor authentication okay now this is my management console let's see how we can add mfa okay you can either directly add it here but if you need to add a mfa for a particular user what you can do is you can go to users and let me select uh, Dushyant here and for him I need to if I just have to add an MFA what I need to do is I'll just go to security credential and here if you see we have something called as multi-factor authentication okay you can just click on assign MFA device and you need to specify the device name whether uh, it is going to be your phone or anything then if you are using an application you can specify or you can scan the qr code if you are going with the security key you need to add select that one i don't have any hardware devices so i'm going with the authenticator app let me say uh, test uh, auth okay so i'll just click on next here it will show you the qr code if i just click on this show qr code you will get a qr code me meanwhile you should also download the application whether it can be a google authenticator duo mobile or authy app after downloading if you click on the show qr code a qr code will be displayed opening that application google authenticator you need to scan the qr code after scanning you will start receiving the code you need to enter the first two codes that you will get and if you just click on add mfa your mfa will be added to that particular user whenever the person you needs to log in again he needs to add the mfa code and only then you will be able to access your aws management console okay so that's it i had to discuss about um, you know multi factor authentication in this part okay